What's going on guys? This is Lucy and Lou from Easy Piano Hacks. Today we're unboxing the BenQ Piano Light. This is a premium piano light designed for the upright piano. Now this box weighed quite a bit. When I opened this up, the instructions weren't really in English, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory how to set it up. Let's start right here with this box. Inside this box is the power supply. You plug this into your wall. You plug that with your cable. The materials they use to build this lamp are very strong and they feel very smooth. Even the wires have a premium matte finish. Full disclosure, BenQ sent me this light for free, but I'm not being paid to review it. Now this is the setup for most people. You have an incandescent light with a harmful flicker. If you practice for long periods of time, this can be painful for your eyes and limits your ability to play the right notes. I'd much rather invest in a tool that will benefit my health now than pay for it in hospital bills later on. Now this is what it looks like with a BenQ piano light. It's completely flicker free. You also don't get any unwanted shadows. For most people, your light is beside or behind you. The shadows can be kind of distracting. So you want it to be top lit so that the shadows stay below your sheet music, below your hands, right? In just that angle and all of a sudden your sheet music and your entire range of your keyboard is visible. So if you want to adjust the brightness, there are 15 levels. Hold the plus or minus buttons so you can make your sheet music and keyboard a little brighter or a little softer. Here's the full brightness and here's softer. Now take a look at this. This is the incandescent versus the BenQ piano light turned up all the way. Stevie Wonder could probably read the sheet music. Now if the lights in your room or studio are a little cooler, meaning that they are more daylight instead of incandescent, you can adjust from incandescent to daylight using the color temperature buttons. The buttons are more like the ones you find on electric stoves. This is what it looks like when you change incandescent to daylight. Now I noticed something here, it's the same icon as I have on my phone, it's an ambient sensor. So if I turn on the light in my room, the light gets a little softer. But when I turn it back off, it's very subtle, but the brightness comes back. Now this right here is the favorites button. You can save your custom settings. First go ahead and make the adjustments you wanna make, then hold the favorites heart button. The light will blink and that will be saved to the BenQ Piano Lights memory. To test this, let's make the light a little warm hit the favorites button, and we're back to daylight. Now I think that the best part of this light is that the base is pretty strong, which means that I can adjust the light up and down to whichever angle I need it to be, so that my sheet music is completely lit and I can see all my fingers. Now if for some reason you want a light behind you, the light is completely adjustable at this angle as well. I think it's safe to say that you can light 360 degrees around this light. Now at the beginning we pulled something out of the box. It looked like a shade and it's actually called a glare shield. It protects your eyes from looking directly into the LED. Now at first this isn't really easy to attach. I had to use both hands and you kind of had to slide it into the right place. But if you're attaching this, you're probably keeping it on. I think this is most useful for young children because they're the ones that if they look up, they'll probably look directly into the light. This light is 239 US dollars on Amazon. You can click on any of the links below to take you there. These are affiliate links that are of no extra cost to you. The question you have to ask yourself is, how much is your eyesight worth to you? Like I said, I'd rather pay for it now than pay for it in the hospital bills. If you found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure to hit subscribe.